Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Alpha NBA is back with another video and this time it's gonna be another Mitchell and Ness authentic Kobe Bryant Los Angeles Lakers jersey. So this particular jersey is from 2009 and 2010 season, specifically from the 2010 NBA Finals where Los Angeles Lakers played against the Boston Celtics. The Los Angeles Lakers and Kobe Bryant played with this alternate white jersey only I think in game two in this series and that was the game that they lost so I'm not sure why Mitchell and Ness released this white jersey specifically but it has the 2010 NBA Finals patch on it that is really nice and these white Lakers jerseys were always special starting from the 81 point game where Kobe wore the white alternate jersey against the Toronto Raptors with the number 8 on it but this time Mitchell and Nestle released this white jersey in the finals version so it took the Los Angeles Lakers the maximum 7 games to win the NBA championship against the Boston Celtics but they did it today I just want to show you another Mitchell and Nestle Lakers jersey with the Kobe Bryant name on it and let's take a closer look and as you know it the Mitchell and Ness authentic jerseys always have a higher quality materials. Everything is stitched on. The Lakers letters. This shiny NBA Finals patch with the NBA logo. Numbers 24. And here is the Mitchell and Ness tag that says authentic and size 44 large. Kobe Bryant 2009-2010 season. And the back of the jersey with Bryant stitched letters and 24 stitched on it. And for those of you who missed uh, on my previous Mitchell and Ness Kobe Bryant videos where I reviewed the number 8 2000 finals jersey and the 2009 finals purple away jersey so I put the links somewhere here so you can just click on them and watch the review of 2000 NBA finals and 2009 NBA finals Mitchell and Ness LA Lakers Kobe Bryant jerseys. But now let's take a closer look on more details of this jersey. So this is the front of the jersey. So basically this is really soft material. Mitchell and Ness makes these according to the year and the manufacturer that made these jerseys like in 2000s. That was Nike, Reebok and Adidas. Before in 90s it was much heavier material, a perforated material. But this one is just like the Nike and Adidas or Reebok manufactured their jerseys. So here you can see the purple trim. So it's, here's the purple line around it. So it's size large, 44, made in China. Mitchell and S, Philadelphia, because it's Philadelphia-based United States company that creates these authentic as well as swingman jerseys. So here are the tags. For some reason this one is cut off, but the retail price is $300 for these authentic Mitchell and Ness jerseys. And the other tag NBA Com Stores and Hardwood Classics. So this is the detail that makes this jersey special. NBA logo with the stitched like goldish NBA Finals patch that Boston Celtics and LA Lakers had stitched on their jerseys in 2010 Finals. for more detail. Here are the stitched Lakers letters. The numbers. and the jock tag that is Hardwood Classics. And as I mentioned in my previous authentic Mitchell and Ness videos, that lately they put authentic name on the patch. So the first generation authentic Mitchell and Ness jerseys had this square patch a little bit smaller because they didn't put the authentic name on it. Here's the size, 44 large and 2009, 2010 and Kobe Bryant. So technically it should be 2010 NBA Finals Game 2 or the date, 
because all-star jerseys have the date on it and then the player name but anyway it's 09 10 season and as in my previous videos the side panel here is yellow not purple and here is the shiny material stitched on both sides of the side panel you can see it shines depending on the light very nice detail as an authentic jersey should have here you can see the stitching and on the other side you can see the shiny material once again from both sides the same there and this is the front of the jersey let's take a look on the back of the jersey so again the purple color and the Bryant letters here in more detail the yellow really shines like a gold color everything's stitched on and number 24 This is the back of the jersey. And once again, front of the jersey. Now let's take a look from the inside stitching. Here is the jersey reversed. And now you can see that everything that is on the jersey is stitched on the material. So here is the NBA Finals patch. Everything nicely stitched on. Here are the Lakers letters. and the 24 number as well as the job tag here and now turn it around and here you can see the same story everything is stitched on the jersey but from the back side, there are the Bryant letters. And number 24 again. Then there is the inside tag, spring 2021. So this is my recent purchase, made in China. And the other side of the tag, you see the quality control sticker. That's what they put always on. They double check the jersey and put the sticker on so the customer knows that this jersey has been checked. And this is how it looks from the inside. So now it's time for measuring and this is the full length of the jersey and as you can see as the early 2000s Nike NBA jerseys had the front side is shorter and the back side is longer the back length is 82 centimeters long and the front of the jersey is if we take the middle of the jersey i would say 77.5 centimeters long so this is the difference between the length front and the back of the jersey and this is the width of the jersey from armpit to armpit and it is around 59 centimeters wide so these were the measures for the authentic Mitchell & Ness size 44 large jersey.
So this is how the jersey looks on me. So I'm 6'1 or 1 meter 86 centimeters tall and I weigh about 100 kilos, about 220 pounds. And actually, if I lose some weight, this size large, again, is true to my size because I use large t-shirt size and this one is large 44. And again, as I told you in my previous Mitchell & Ness videos, there are differences between Mitchell & Ness large and today's current Nike authentic large sizes. So if you need a large for Mitchell & Ness, it's size 44. But if you need a size large for current Nike jerseys, you need to choose the size 48. The same goes for XL, it's 48 for Mitchell & Ness and it's 52 for uh, current Nike jerseys. So this is how the jersey looks on me. Here they are the letters, numbers, the finals patch. Here are the side panels, the yellow side panels from both sides, you can see here. And once again, there is the difference in the length. I don't know why, but these jerseys, specifically the early 2000s Nike jerseys were made without the side cuts here. So they make the front side shorter and the back side longer. In my opinion, it would be great if they had a similar length from the front and from the back side, but it is what it is. And if you want more relaxed fit, of course, go a size up, go with XL. For me, maybe it's better the large, just because the XL has much wider width here. But again, if you don't wear your jerseys every day and you don't wear anything underneath them, in that case, this jersey is true to size and if you have a size large, this fits perfectly for you. So this is the back of the jersey, bright letters, number 24. And basically that's it. Very beautiful jersey. I would like to have a number 8 in my collection too. But the interesting part is that Mitchell & Ness made the number 8 alternate white version from the season 2003-2004 when they first released the alternate white color. But actually they didn't put the 2006 year on it. That would be much special because Kobe dropped 81 points on Toronto Raptors on that year. But anyway, very beautiful, clean jersey. The white color is very special for the Lakers and you can't go wrong with this 24 or number 8 white jersey. So once again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your huge support. Thank you for your messages, for your kind words. An easy way to support my channel is to subscribe and click the bell icon just to don't miss any of my future videos. And once again, if you want to see the review of the other of my two Kobe Bryant LA Lakers jerseys, that is the number 8 and number 24, 2000s finals, 2009 finals and 2010 finals here. Just click on my channel Alpha NBA and you can watch the detailed review, the measurements, and all the stitching details there. So once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, click the bell icon, and let's meet in the next video of Alt and BA.